other day I got like a email. A homie was basically like, he was dating this chick for a couple months. I think it was like three or four months. And like last week, his boy told him that, yo, you know, she let me, you know what I'm saying? She let me open her Easter basket. You feel me? And he was kind of perturbed about what to do. For some of y'all don't know what perturb mean. He was confused on how to handle the situation because this is like the third or fourth time that the same homeboy took down one of his joints. And he wanted to know like if I thought anything was weird about that whole situation. So, my advice to you, right? My advice to you, my guy, is first off, you need to cut her off just in case you didn't. You need to cut her off because she for the streets. You feel what I'm saying? She for the avenue. She for the block. You feel me? She for everybody but you. You feel me? Like, that's how... Just cut her off. To be honest... To be honest... <clears throat> I'm going to give you two different advice, but they all end with you cutting her ass off, right? So, the good guy in me, who's a father figure, who's married, I'm going to tell you just cut her off without any communication and, you know, just go about your business. Now, old lads, old lads, I'll tell you, just crack one time. You feel me? Just crack one time. For good measures. <laughs> I'm about to say something so foul, but I don't care. One time, bro. She crack one time, hit it from the back. You feel me? Before you before you let off, pull the condom off and put it on her back. Put your clothes on and leave. Don't clean it up. Don't clean it up at all. Or you can get top and hair. And just walk out. She gonna know what she did. But then again, bro, you know, we in 2020, bro. She might she might call them peoples on you and say and, and make some false reports. But anyway, it depends how you wanna handle it. As far as your man's is concerned, as far as your man's is concerned, bro, you need to cut him off too. You need to cut him off too, bro. Because now I know a lot of a lot of folks are gonna be like, oh you simping. It's bros over it's bros over but sometimes bro your bro is I want you to really like I want you to really think about it right from what you said it seems though every time you start talking to a chick he he find a need to get up on it like he try to see if he could take him from you and you might you in some weird way Dudes will try to make it seem like they looking out for you. You feel me? Like, a motherfucker will stick his wee-wee in a chick. Then come back and tell you, yo, bro, she let me crack, bro. She for the streets. I was making sure, you know what I'm saying? I was making sure she didn't do you dirty. Instead of you telling me beforehand that she may be for the streets, you made the executive decision... To stick your wee wee on her. I never really understand that, bro. Like, I'm gonna give y'all a perfect example of this situation and how I handled it when I was in that situation. Like, when I had my crib, um, I let one of my men bring a chicken in, right? They was in there for however long, and he did not crack. Like, he did not seal the deal. I still don't understand how how that was possible, but he didn't seal the deal. So, probably like a month or two down the line, I'm on the bus because I ain't had no whip yet. You feel me? I'm on the bus or whatever. And she on the bus. And we end up spotting up a conversation. And it's seeming as though she like, she with it. You feel me? So, I ended up getting her number. And we was texting and all that. But before we went any further, I called my mans and I was like, yo, bro. Such and such gave me her number, bro. Like, you feel me? It seemed like she might be down for the cause. 
what's up? I'm just calling because I wanted to know if you were still on it or, you know, if you might feel some type of way. He was like, nah, bro. Do your thing. Like, what? Nah, bro. Do your thing. I was like, are you sure? Because sometimes dudes be lying, bro. But he was, nah. He was adamant. Like, yo, do your thing, son. I'm not feeling, I'm not going to hate on you. I'm like, nah. You're not hating on me. I, I just want to know. You feel me? And I moved right along. Now, I could have been real shaky or real shady and cracked and then been surprised that he was still talking to her. Like, I just wanted to know, was you still talking to her? And, you know, make sure she wasn't trying to go behind your back and try to create some type of static between me and you. At the end, of, when I, the way I look at bros over her, bro, is you got to think about your bro first. In any situation. So, your homie that decided to, like, take down your joints while you were still talking to them, he didn't find out how you feel about them, if you were serious about them or whatever, this, that, and the third. And even if Shorty gave him a, 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 a some time and he saw a chink in her armor, that don't mean you rip the armor apart, bro. You, you go tell your mans. And then y'all decide how to go about that. You feel me? If your mans decide, all right, well, she for the streets. You know, you do your thing. If he on some, oh, yeah, well, just stay back. Stay away from her because I think I like her. He a simp. He a simp. And you got to tell him, like, yo, nah, bro. She, she talking to you and she trying to give me play. What you mean you still like her? What? Nah. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that. I don't know. That's just how I go about things. But I, I just don't take it upon myself. Because at, sometimes, man, that's how, that's how like, friends become enemies over females. Because it's a lack of communication. And you go behind somebody's back and you mess around and hurt his pride. It's, like, in a situation like that, he done took, like, three or four of your joints down. Bro, that means that he's in some type of weird competition with you that he just feels as though every time you get a girl, he has to try to talk to her. That's 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 something to, you know what I'm saying? You got to look at that. You got to look into that, bro. I cut him off too, man. It's cool he looking out. I, in a weird way, he might be looking out, but nah. That's like, I'm going to give, this is my last example on that. This is my last example on that, right? That's like, Somebody coming to tell you that this other person was talking about you when they were saying all this foul stuff about you. And you got to you got to really look into that like, yo, why they f you know, it's cool that they looking out and they telling you that such and such is talking about you, but at the same time like, yo, why they feel so comfortable telling you all this information? You feel me? What was going on beforehand? It's kind of like it's kind of like that. It's a double-edged sword like that. Like, I, right, you know, she giving you play or whatever, but like, it's the third one. This is the fourth one, bro. It seems as though you always trying to put yourself in a situation where joints to give you play. Nah. You you in some weird competition with me. That's how I look at that, man. That's how I look at that. But anyway, that's the video squad. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me how you feel about that. Am I wrong in saying what I'm saying? Or, you know, do I have... Am I making some valid points? Leave the answers in the comment section. Squad!